Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how to use user data in Terraform while creating a new EC2 by using a, a file as an input. This is part of the infrastructure as a code series that I'm working on and you can find the rest of the videos in the channel's playlist. You, you can also find more tutorials about different technologies and topics. Okay, about user data. User data is a, a feature in an EC2 where you can put a code in bash which will be executed uh, at the moment that the EC2 is being created and that way you can have already installed some software from from the from from the beginning. So now let, let me show you what I'm going to install by using this script install underscore Apache. So I'm going to to cut this and as you can see this is a bash script where I'm going to update all the packages in the system and also I'm going to install HTTPD service which is Apache and then I'm going to start the service and enable it so that it can start every time the EC2 is restarted and finally I'm going to place an HTML code inside this index.html and this will result on a website, very basic, but on a website in our EC2 uh, running from the very beginning which is very helpful for our automations then let me show you the main.tf here as a summary you can see the required providers here AWS you need to specify the version and also the, the source which is AWS and we need the, the driver uh, over 3.0 version also the provider here, AWS, uh, we can specify the region the, and the keys, but here specifying the keys on this file is not secure, so you need to find a better way to do it, like the credentials file. And finally, the resource block is where I'm going to create the EC2. These, uh, these parameters were already explained in a previous video. In a nutshell, is the Amy... Um, the image uh, version or the image ID, also the instance type, the key name and security groups to, to manage the network. But the key thing on this video is this line because we are using the user data and we are using also this um, file function from Terraform which allows me to read this uh, install apache.sh uh, file and retrieve all the comments that I um, just shown and it will pass to, to will pass these comments to Terraform to execute them at uh, while the while the EC2 is being created. Also we have the tags as you remember using tags is a best practice uh, in AWS or any cloud provider so you can uh, manage or organize in a better way all your cloud uh, resources then now i'm going to execute terraform init in order to initialize my backend it will download all the necessary modules to connect to aws then i'm going to i'm going to do a terraform apply with the auto approve uh, option and it will create a new EC2 using my, my main.tf and also installing all the necessary things to publish my website so I'm going to pause the video and resume when it is done okay just finish you can see one resource was added and here we can have the public IP for instance I'm going to copy it if the the process uh, results as expected, uh, I will I will be able to display a website, a static website, directly on the browser. Let's take a look here, and I'm going to paste the IP address that you just took from the output. And here you can see this is my web page. I put this HTML code inside of the index. .html and it's being published as expected. 
This is how you can use user data to initialize your EC2 with, with, some, with something that you need and also using them uh, using it from a file which is uh, which, which provides a better management for your automation okay this is all for this video i hope you enjoy it please subscribe to the channel let me know your comments bye